I want to show you how to record the respiratory rate in your pet. My name is Mike Martin, I'm a veterinary cardiologist, and this is my dog Digby. So the res resting respiratory rate is the number of breaths in one minute, or 60 seconds. This is best recorded during a period of rest or sleep, not after too much exercise, not when too hot and panting, so nice and calm, rested or sleeping. A normal rate in dogs is typically less than 20 breaths per minute, but with variations of normal, it's roughly from 15 to 25 breaths per minute. An elevated rate is typically more than 30 breaths per minute. A very fast rate is more than 40. An extremely fast is more than 50. Now, excluding dogs that are panting from exercise or being too warm and hot. So this is at rest and a calm situation. In heart failure, as a consequence of this problem, there's retention of fluid typically within the lungs or the chest. This makes it very difficult to breathe and get oxygen from the air, so consequently one needs to breathe faster to get enough oxygen. So the respiratory rate gets faster. Treatment of fluid in the chest is with drugs such as diuretics and other medications. The diuretics such as furosemide and torzomide, and manufacturers will have different trade names for these drugs, cause the kidneys to work harder and excrete excess fluid in the urine. Monitoring the respiratory rate in your pet is a good way to monitor how effective the treatment is working. As the fluid clears from the chest, the respiratory rate becomes slower i.e. more normal. Tips in recording your respiratory rate are to do so when your pet falls asleep near you so you're not getting up to move to it or into the room. Typically they will wake up and want to play. So record it when they fall asleep by your feet or even on your lap. Use a respiratory rate recording app can be helpful um, by simply using a watch or a clock or your mobile phone with a second hand counter is sufficient and count the number of breaths in one minute. One breath in and out is a breath. Watch the chest and flank rise and fall with each breath in and out. So here is Digby and breathing and I put arrows to where his chest movement is creating the most obvious movement and you can see he'll breathe in there and out and again in out and that's what another breath in out so in a normal dog this can be quite subtle to see and to find and though this is the flank and not specifically the chest the chest movement causes the whole trunk to move depending on what you're looking for. Here's another view of Digby lying asleep and you can see the chest lift there and out. It even moves his leg out from the chest there in and out. And another breath coming in out. Very subtle, very normal and the respiratory rate in Digby here is nice and slow. The easiest thing is definitely to use a little respiratory rate counting app. There's a couple available by the manufacturers of some heart medications for dogs. So it's also really useful to keep a daily record of the resting respiratory rate following the start of treatment that your vet has given. Um, the respiratory rate should come to near normal, not always perfectly normal, but near normal with dogs with heart conditions. And once it's stabilized, then you can reduce the frequency from daily down to once or twice a week. So in the first period of time, you're probably going to record daily for two weeks to get treatment under control. Thereafter, uh, it's going to be difficult to do it every day, but if you do it once or twice a week, it's often useful. But heart disease, unfortunately, is progressive in our pets, and that will take months or years, depending on the condition. But as you keep watching the respiratory rate on a weekly basis, this is often the first early indication of reaccumulation of fluid or the heart because the heart's progressing over time. 
it's a good way to monitor the treatment and and how much fluid there is in your pet's lungs thanks for listening from me and digby